usually in our experiment, we use laser to help us to achieve all kinds of stuff, such as uh, we use laser to interact with our atom, or we use laser to actually trap the atom. And then, uh, in order to transfer the laser from one part of the experiment to the other part of the experiment, we actually use uh, something called the optical fiber that the uh, we use to transfer the light. So in this part of the experiment, you can see the light after the optical fiber is actually uh, look something like this, which is uh, round in the color. And then it actually sends onto uh, this device here, which this device actually helps us to uh, change the shape of our beam. And then like we can uh, use a different shape in order to achieve like different purpose for our experiment. This is the close out photo of the device that I mentioned just now, which is called Spatial Light Modulator or SLM. So usually we will send our laser beam onto the area that highlighted by the red square. So inside the red square, they actually consist of an array of liquid crystal that help us to manipulate the face of the incoming laser beam. So by having a full control over this array of liquid crystal, we can actually modify the face of the incoming laser beam pixel by pixel. This helps us to uh, modify the laser beam into a shape that we want it to be. So this is the technique that we also use in the hologram. Okay, so this is uh, how the laser beam look like without any modification, just straight uh, laser beam come from the fiber. And then um, we sort of like apply some of the like modification using a device just now. And you can see like uh, it changed to like the pattern that we want it to be. So this uh, could be very useful in some applications such that uh, if we want to modify the uh, how it looks like in order to help us to trap the different in a different place in our setup. I mentioned previously, we actually use the laser to help us to trap the atom. So in our experiment, the atom is actually trapped at the practice part uh, of our laser which is at the focus of the laser so how do we uh, know actually there's a uh, atom that being trapped in uh, our our laser so uh, after the atom is being trapped in the using the laser we actually shine some light onto the atom and then the atom will scatter the light if the if the atom is inside a trap the atom will scatter some part of the light and then we will detect it using our detector so you can see the signal here uh, when 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 the signal show a very high uh, fluorescence from that uh, from from the detector, it actually means that the atom is being trapped uh, in our in our traps. So uh, it's not only that we just see this signal from the detector itself. We also have a camera that uh, point onto the the place where we expect the atom to be trapped. So you can see here uh, the bright spot in the middle is actually the atom being trapped uh, by our trap and then uh, scatter the light that we shine onto it so you can see we can trap the atom like for seconds long and then sometimes it will disappear due to uh, the collision with the other atoms and then uh, as mentioned previously we can actually use uh, one device to actually uh, change the uh, how our atom uh, how our laser will look like this will actually help us to uh, trap the atom in a different location and in the pattern that we want so for example here we actually uh, try to like change the change the how uh, change the laser that trap the atom into two spot like we split the, uh, the the laser into two and then you you can see now there's like two atom being trapped at two different locations so uh, this will have some very interesting application uh, in our experiment